good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody out there. This is Chris. I'm showing you my face. That's right. I even did a little bit of shaving. A little bit. Kind of a dirty look, you know? This is me. If you haven't ever seen my face, here I am. Okay, what we got here is Nikki, a.k.a. Batgirl, I call her, sent me this picture of... We know what kind of sun that is, right? It's a sun simulator, right? Okay, so... Remember, watch this little thing up here, this little cloud. Now, the red object over the sun is not a lens flare. This is no. No lens flare. But... My take on it, it's that's what they're trying to hide. What you're seeing, the red behind there, could be uh, part of the sun simulator, and it could be a berculus, uh, and it could be uh, not wormwood, but it could be Istum, the big red planet, because we've been seeing all those crazy red clouds, you know? So keep watching. I'll be back, face or no face, but I will be back. If you notice uh, a purple behind this, these diamonds are, I'm starting to see this red diamond everywhere. I used to see them in Alaska with really bad cameras, but I think that's also the reflection from uh, Sun Sim. And as I was watching this, you know, I was watching that red thing on the side, which could be a reflection, the little white thing. It just blew up into that big orange ball. Yep, big orange ball. So here it is, another view of it. It's purple. It's a big triangle of purple behind it. And this is all part of the, you know, blue beam activity going on. Right here, I just see clearly that, um, you know, you see it, right? I'm just showing you what I saw. Big old planet just dipping into our atmosphere so we can see a crossover. A lot of um, obstacle cluster groups and stuff down here. Down on the bottom, and this is from uh, Nikki also. I just wanted to do this one because I thought it was interesting. Very, very interesting. So Nikki's sending me a ton of stuff, and uh, some of it's a year old, some of it's two years old, but I'm, I'm cherry picking. I caught this the other day. I just thought you guys would love it. That's all, little short purple pink sky. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's weird. But then, in that same time period, I saw that. Now look at the edge on the left. Look at the edge. Look at the edge. See the edge on the left of that light blue I put over it? This thing if it's that big. There's pole shift going on. See that edge on the left? Cuts that one cloud right off. Alright, let me show you some. Oh, what do you think of all that? I'm going to show you this uh, forensic uh, contrast, auto contrast on the forensic program. And there, I just seen that, like a little spot. Actually, it should have been no reason I thought that was a UFO, but I didn't see this one. And I don't know what that one is. It's definitely not a bird. And that's definitely not a bird. Let me show you a little bit closer, okay? See if I can find it. I've done so much stuff this morning. If I can find it. See if I can find it. Anyways, how's everybody doing out there? This is C for Null. Um, I don't see it out here. What's going on? There it is. This one right here, I want to show you. Look at that thing. You can see the windows in it. And that's just a zoomed in. I no longer have the um, maximizer. I got it in a studio deal, and now they want to charge me $185 a month. I said, I don't think so. So I'm using Zoom, but you get a little bit of the distortion around it a little bit more. But you can see how that, that craft is divided. That's auto contrast by color. 
This is just auto contrast by uh, channel, not by color. By channel, what that does is separates what looks like metal. It's there, right? So, I have one more thing to look at. Um, Tainted Sky sent this in. And he told me this can't be, you know, this cannot be clouds. So, I did a little close-up on it, a little filter. Let's see what we get here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Contrast by auto contrast. Just plain old Jane auto contrast. There's a lot of stuff over here. Painted skies. Good capture, good eye. It's not just a cloud, because you see the black around it? That's a that's a giveaway. It's a blue beam, or it's actually entities. Or Anyways, I thought I'd throw that out there. Um, the earlier pictures, a lot of them are from Nikki. Uh, her dog, is, is she calls herself Ruger. The mom of Ruger. Ruger is a boxer dog. But look what's in that cloud. You think those are ships? You think those are... Demons? What do you think those are, guys? Comment. I'll talk to you later. Share this video. It's crazy. Yeah, thank you, Tainted Skies, for this one. Right in time, I was making this video, and I thought, you know, I'll put a little forensic on this thing. I already have it out. And there you go. There's a lot of UAPs, a lot of stuff going on in there. Anyways... Let me go back to, uh, let me, let me go to clone detection before we leave. And clone detection will see if there's any UAPs and stuff that are similar. Um, keep trying. No, no clones. No clones. Let me try a level sweep. Yeah, see what happens. Because wherever there is activity light like that. Level sweep. And let me look at uh, how intense this can get. Pretty intense. Pretty intense. And principal component. Sometimes you can find some mysteries with this luminous difference, distance. Component. There's all kinds of stuff up in there. Anyways, folks, um, just show you what we're looking at here. That's not a normal cloud. I agree. Not a normal cloud. Mm, noise analyst. Yes, Darren. And that just shows you the light that's coming out of the cloud. See, so there's stuff in them clouds. There's a lot of stuff in those clouds. <clears throat> there's the opacity. There's a normal picture. Very strange. All right, talk to you guys later. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. By the day. God bless. Share it. Subscribe. Follow. Friend me on Facebook. And uh, maybe take a check, a peek at my uh, YouTube, which is Curiosity and Discovery 2024. Talk to you later.